Hey everyone, how are you today? It is Angry Birds Freeze King. Today I'm going to do a video on one of my street lights that I have recently gotten. And this one is up in my room. So we gotta go upstairs. <clears throat> I bought a new stand and then I realized uh, my camera won't fit on it. Because one thing, the stand's kind of stupid. It's a used stand. And not only that, bing, turn bing, it off. Bing, in case it's you. The bottom of the camera that I'm currently using, the uh, screw on piece, so I can screw it onto the stand, actually broke off. So I gotta see if I can fix that. This is a really good camera, so I don't want to get rid of it. <clears throat> but here we go. Here is my street light. So this street light is a Cooper. OVH street light with a Cooper OVC lens and how I got this light um, they were taking this light down because this light was having some issues I guess it wasn't working um, I was doing night work a while ago when they were taking this light down and in the morning when I'd come home when it was still dark this light was not on so they came out I did the Duke Energy report they came out and they fixed it at least I thought they did but the light still wasn't working so they took um, I took another report in and they came back out and they tested it and I just watched them take it down so I asked them if I could have the light and they said yes so they gave me the light and I'm not going to explain how I got the lens um, I will do that in another video when I go over all my street lights. But this street light right here, um, the problem that this one had is that the photocell outlet wasn't working correctly. <clears throat> now this light does actually work. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the photocell outlet up here has a loose connection. And I'm not going to show what it does, but if you have the photocell and you move it just a slight bit, the, um, the light will kind of flicker because it's not making a good connection. So this light does work but the photo cell outlet on it is, is not working correctly. And I'm not gonna replace it just because this one is here in my lovely room, which I'm gonna have to take all my stuff down in here too. As you can see, I have lots of decorations. Whoa, what's going on with the focus? So this light is a Cooper OVH light. This one has a flat had a flat panel of glass. Um, when they took it down, they broke it, but that was okay because when this light was not working, it had, hadn't been working for a couple weeks now, and I had taken my trip recently to New York City, and in New York City they had a lot of Cooper OVGs there, and since this light is the same exact light as um, a Cooper OVG, just with a flat panel of glass, I decided to get an OVC lens for it, because the Cooper OVGs have an OVC lens, and so I can make this into a Cooper OVG light. Now, the ones in New York City are high pressure sodium and this one is not. This is a metal haloid 170 watt light, but that's okay. Um, now this arm, I, I got out of a scrap bin for it and I really want to put this one up in my room because I really love the OVGs and they remind me of my great trip to New York City. So yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. I'm going to show you the inside, so I'm going to turn my light on. Now the lens is kind of thick, so when I shut it, it's very tight. <clears throat> and I have to open, kind of have to pry it open. Here we go. And yes, this over OVC lens is used. It's from another, it's from an OVC that wasn't working. So for the arm, and I'll show the arm, I just have, I actually have a drywall screw, a really long one, with some washers kind of holding it to the wall. And then these screws right here just kind of keep it level. Um, these wires came with this one. Um, this is, I guess, an older arm because these wires are from like the 70s or the 80s. They're not very new. But in here we have our wires. They go to our terminal block right here. I actually... For this light, I added a ground terminal block if you want to add a ground to it, although I don't have a ground going to this light. And then it, this goes to your ground screw, and I had to put some WD-40 on that to get that out. That was stuck. Um, 
from there you got your lines they come over to your uh, your transformer which I like which I like this one because it's multi-tap because you can plug it into different voltages and then you have your capacitor right here and you don't need an igniter for a metal halide so that's it and then just from the capacitor to light you got your light right here if you look right here you can see the sticker if it'll focus for me sort of I'm trying to get it to focus not on that come on Surprisingly, this was assembled in Mexico, and we got the date code right here. Sorry, this isn't very good. Why are you doing this? Well, if you, I'm not gonna zoom in more anymore, but you can see it's from 2003. At least I think it's from 2003. I looked on Google Street View. This light's been up for a really long time. I go, you can go as far back as the 2007 and it's still there, which is nice. All right, now that I've showed you that, close it back up. It's a little bit sticky. Oh, real quick, one thing I had to do, and I had to do this for some of the lights downstairs. Now, a lot of these lights, newer lights, have this nice, uh, nice, uh, like fabric insulation thing. And I had to take this off because I guess over time they stretch out and this one had some dirt on it. So I took it off and cleaned it. And then when I cleaned it, it was a little bit longer than it was. So I guess I had stretched out. So I actually, I hot glued it back on and then I just kind of cut the original pattern there. And your lens, to take out your lens, you just move this aside. And then your lens comes off. Very simple. <laughs> Now, the light, now, one thing about the lens, and I know this doesn't really go with the light. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Kraus Heinz on it. And I have a couple Uber, Cooper OVCs down there, as you guys just saw at the beginning of the video, that have that same thing. So I'm start, I'm, I don't know when they switched over if they just didn't get rid of the font, or that, that company name, but that's not who they're made by anymore. Sorry if I'm so zoomed in, it's just pretty big when it's up close like that. Ugh. It's hard to close, there we go. Um, other things I did with this light, um, the sticker, the sticker is original, I did clean the sticker, and the light is repainted. I used, uh, forgot, it's like a blue slate color, I don't have the paint up here with me, but I used a nice light gray as well as my, my GE light that I repainted. I used um, I used like a dark gray. It was like a winter gray. This is a lighter gray because I know a lot of the newer street lights are a lighter gray. So, and the photo cell, one thing about actually about the photo cell is this photo cell didn't come with this light. I don't know what they did with the photo cell. I had gotten this out of a scrap bin. And I think they just accidentally threw it away, but this photo cell is actually brand new and it works. So, yeah, it's a beautiful light. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook it up now and we can watch it turn on. One thing I plan on doing in the future, um, when I actually have my official place, my official living place, is I'd like to put like a switch, connect this to like a switch box that can mount on the wall and then have a cord go down, but for now, um, I have my test cord that I'm currently using just to test my lights. And someone in the last video commented about my GE light. They said it was a good, my light's really nice, but they said I used the wrong wattage bulb in it. And for, for all of you guys out there, um, I'm not... I don't, it costs money to get these light bulbs, and I do have a lot of, I have more bulbs than I did in the first video, but those came with the lights that I got out of the dumpster. So, if I'm not using the correct wattage bulb, so like, my GE downstairs is a 200, I'm going to set this down while I talk, while I connect this, but my GE light is a 200 watt light, and I used a 150 watt bulb, and I don't know if that guy didn't like that, but he told me. That I was I shouldn't be doing that to the light 
Now, for one thing, as long as the wattage is close, it's not going to hurt the light. And second, I'm only testing these lights, and I don't have really the money right now to buy the exact bulbs for them. So I use that high pressure sodium bulb as a test bulb because when I get these lights I clean them up and I paint them and I want to make sure they work before I do any of that type of stuff with them because if they don't work I'm not going to do all that. I'm not going to paint them up and make them nice. So if I'm not using the correct bulb just remember I am testing. It's only because I'm testing the lights. Um, yeah, so. All right, now we're hooked up, and I'm gonna turn my light off. Now it is daytime, but at nighttime, it really does light up my room, and I'm sure it's gonna do it right now, so I'm just gonna plug it into my desk outlet. I got all my art supplies on the floor. I'm gonna do some artwork tonight. Okay. Let me set the camera in a spot where we can watch the light. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't fall. I know it looks orange and I don't know why it's starting up orange. <laughs> That's different. Yeah, this one, it kind of sits dim like that and then like, it takes I think five minutes or like ten minutes for it to warm up, but it it's like really, at first it's like really dim and then all of a sudden it gets super bright. It might look a little greenish on camera. Now, metal halloid with our bare eyes when we see it is a nice white color and it does give off a bluish tint and on camera it can vary like right now it's showing green and it, like mercury vapor and I don't know oh I don't understand why it gives off that color but sometimes it'll show up as blue or green but towards the end it should be brighter it should turn white Like right now, it's starting to get it's starting to get bright. I think it, it'll get brighter like faster and faster. And if some of you are watching this and you guys watched my last live stream, I am so sorry that that was a fail. That 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 was something I was trying out and it didn't really work. So I'm sorry if. Um, yeah, sorry if for the crap live stream. That was my first live stream I've ever tried doing. I had some of my friends down. We went to a concert, and then we wanted to do a live stream later that night afterwards. And it didn't really work, so... But it was a trial and error thing. As you can tell, probably on camera is getting brighter now. It's really green on camera. <laughs> it's not look like that in real life. It is lighting up my room, despite... Uh, it being daylight. Oh my gosh, it's bright. It's hard. It is so hard to look at. A lot of the mercury vapor lights here in Cincinnati that get replaced usually get replaced by metal halloid. And if there's high pressure sodium lights that get replaced, they usually just replace them with HPS. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is, you can kind of see the sine wave on the light. It's getting super bright now. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can change the focus. I have my camera sitting on my pillow. I can't change the focus of the light because, uh, I don't know, because <laughs> it's so bright. I don't know if you guys can see my hand. This bulb does get very hot, 
Now one thing about Metal Howlite before I um, shut this light off, and Mercury Vapor does the same thing. When, when the power surges, so if I were to turn this light off actually right now, and then plug it right back in, it actually won't be able to start because the bulb has to, has to be able to start when it's cool so when the so it, it takes I think about five minutes or however long it takes for the bulb to cool down the bulb has to cool down first and then it can turn back on it's still getting a little bit brighter I think it's at its full brightness though and it does the color is definitely a lot more correct on camera now but when you see it with your eyes, it gives off a white light. It doesn't really give off. It's practically like LED. I would compare it to LED because LED doesn't really... I mean, for the most part, LEDs don't give off... Um, they don't give off like a warm light or like a really... Some give off a really blue light, but most of the ones I'm, I've seen give off a white light. It isn't getting any brighter. This light is at its brightness. I'm gonna move Mr. Camera. As you can see, yeah, this, this, we're facing west right now. The sun is coming. My blinds are closed. The sun's not really low enough, but it is lighting up my room. And it's kind of neat at night. There goes my air conditioning. Look at that. You can see the sine wave. It's it's really neat. I wish on camera it'd pick up as a white light though, but unfortunately it doesn't. Anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So what I'll do real quick is now I turn it off, I'm actually going to plug it in. See, you can hear it humming, but the light isn't able to kick back on. And like I said, the bulb can't turn back on because it's too hot. Because the bulb has to be able to start when it's cool. It can't start when it's already warm. So there you go. That is my Cooper OVG light, or if you guys just want to call it an OVH, because that is what the light is. It's a Cooper... OVH with um, an OVC lens. The Co that is technically what the Cooper OVG is. It's a Co it's an OVH with a OVC lens, and I'll put a brief picture up on the screen so you can see it. And then I'll do do a comparison to mine. Everyone take care, happy collecting, and I will see you in the next video.